abandoned houses, a castle, rice terraces and more all in this video. And we are starting with a very local, very slow train. When you think of train in Japan, you think of the Shinkansen, the bullet train. Fast, reliable, almost always on time. But the trains that bring you to the countryside to see something that's not the city, that are the small trains. And hopping onto one of these is exactly what I did today. I am here today to see for the first time in my life rice terraces, of which there are a couple in Japan because they eat rice and they have mountains. And here, they are fantastic. It's a little bit early in the year, so they are not yet green and all that. That would happen probably around July. But still, very nice. And it's all green around here, not the rice, but everything else. And uh, nature's looking just beautiful. The only thing that would make it a little bit more Japanese style in my mind would be something like a temple. As it turned out, there was one right below me. Me on that rock, temple below. The question is of course, what can you do at a temple in Japan? And depending on how you look at it, a lot or not that much. You can offer your prayer to the enshrined Buddha. You can get some omamori, some lucky charms. And of course you can take pictures and the way I see it, most of the people do the latter. And of course, depending on what you value in your life, that's a lot or not. In any case, it looks usually very good and you can take great Instagram photos. We have seen a little bit of rice terraces, but apparently there are much more here. So let's take a look if we find them. I think so because there are signs. And then let's see if they look even better than what we've seen so far. And after that, there will be more. I just walked into this 60 year old man who happened to play the shakuhachi here in the wild. You can still hear him maybe behind me. And he thankfully allowed me to film him and talk to him a little bit and capture that as well. So very nice. Hmm. Ah, mm. 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 そうすると本当綺麗。夜景があって。うん。いいですね。いや、また来ます。ああ、どうも。ええ、ええ。また楽しみにしてきた。はい。あのね、落ち着くんだ。落ち着くの気持ちが。桜地も長い時間。ああ
and that's one of the reasons why I like the Japanese countryside. Okay, should we go somewhere else now? I mean, it's a rice field. Where are we going next? Well, rice terrace, temple, and after that can only come castle, of course. Now the bad thing though about castles is, usually they are on mountains, and that means you have to climb them, which is very unfortunate if you're not a climber like me. And uh, yeah, it's terrible. <laughs> This better be worth it. Uh, in any case, I must say it looks pretty nice. However, clearly there has been some miscalculation in the Japanese boom period in the 80s, 90s, early 90s, because there's a lot of very concrete temples, shrines and so on here that are now abandoned and just stay here because it's concrete. Now below me, there's actually an abandoned house. On the way here, I came across a central hotel, which is being demolished right now, also all concrete. And that's the problem with mountains, because concrete buildings, and now they're abandoned. Because they're concrete, they don't go away. Doors open, we could go in, but we don't, because trespassing is punishable in Japan. Still outside, not inside. Seems to be like some big hall. They even have still tatami mats there. It's the entry area. They have slippers. So maybe some celebration hall of the temple that's down here. This is the reception desk. There's an old telephone. I remember these ones from my childhood, so maybe 30 years ago. And that's this building. Now, let's go see a castle. Before that, two more remarks about abandoned buildings in this area. On my way down, I saw they even had an abandoned ropeway up there. That was of course utterly disappointing. On the bright side, I ran into this building which contained a DIY history museum. Upon talking to the staff, I found this museum of Japanese history is being rebuilt by them, do it yourself style. And now finally, a castle. So, usually when you think of Japanese castles, maybe something like this comes to mind. Here, it's this. Maybe underwhelming isn't the right word, but... Um, to manage your expectations, should you come here, maybe imagine it not as a castle, but as a fortification. And by the way, this was rebuilt in 1995, true to the original, but still, it's not an original. Yeah, so that's that. It's pretty small. There's a watchtower, a couple of barracks, which cannot be seen from below, from the valley, so the enemies don't know how many people there are here. And uh, yeah, a couple of things they excavated here, and that's it. And now let's go down again. After a long day of walking, there's probably no better way to relax your feet than a foot bath. And this one is coming straight from the hot spring. It's a nice area. It's next to a road, as you may be able to hear, but there's a little pond here with koi fishes. There's a little stage over there, which may be used sometimes for some performances. But overall, it's perfect after a long walk.
soba noodles are Nagano Prefecture speciality and the good thing about them is they're not expensive. For example, the ones I had just now here at the station are just 450 yen, which is around $4.50. And they are the perfect size to fill your stomach up a little bit and get the energy back you need to recharge. With that, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Now I'm trying to take a picture for thumbnail or actually a video for thumbnail and I take the best one with some funny face expression so that you actually click. Also the sun is super distracting. It's really hard to keep my eyes open. That's the struggles of a YouTuber, my friends. That's the struggles. One more.